away from the badly scripted episode of EastEnders and the Pirate Legend Tavern, there is actually some great hope for the storyline elsewhere in the game that does give us all a little hope that the story could be leading onto something big. And it's happening right now. Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So after the absolute train wreck and shambles of the storyline that is happening within the pirate legend Tavin, myself and the rest of the community have come up with a possible theory as to why this is all so daft. My previous video showcasing this is appearing at the top of the screen right now. There, there it is. Little white thing. Up there. Me and the community's theory right now is the tainted sword of souls controls people's minds, right? So that's why they're all acting so daft. They've had their minds erased. That's not actually what's happening, but I'm using this excuse as canon. This entire story arc right here is daft. Really daft. Really daft. Anyway, forgetting about that area like an awkward handshake, the story elsewhere in the game is actually doing a good job. And it mostly revolves around this little fella and this Christmas tree decoration. For those not in a loop, the orb has been very active lately, giving us all mystery-like clues to visit certain areas within the game. The clues and the location the orb is giving us at this point of making the video is Picaroon Palms. And each time the orb points you to an island, a reaper's bird is sat watching. The reaper's bird pet is used as a a spy, so why is it here? Well, this island is the most important one out of the few, because if you watch the 2024 preview event within Season 13, we know that structures will be fortified on existing islands, where Flameheart will be uncovering the secrets of the Ancients. And sure enough, putting some slides together, we can see that this structure showcased in this segment of the video is in fact Picaroon Palms. The other islands this bird has landed on is Barnacle Key, Lagoon of Whispers, and Shiver Retreat, which suggests that all of these islands will be reshaped in the future with skeletal and ancient structures as showcased in the preview event. But the most interesting thing about all of these locations, and the hints to find them, is what's said within the clues. The orb mentions certain animals with each clue. Barnacle K mentioned an insect royale. Lagoon of Whispers mentions a foolish owl. Shiver Retreat mentions a black widow. And all of these creatures, like most of the cave paintings in Sea of Thieves aren't actually creatures, but symbolic images of certain historical ancients. And Briggsy actually depicted all of these creatures, or symbolic images, in her adventure, The Secret Wilds. Now I know a lot of you probably can't remember The Secret Wilds or didn't even play The Secret Wilds, so here's a quick reminder. But it must be an important one to be placed among the stars. My belief is that it represents a wise leader Perhaps a king, a woman close to the king, an advisor or perhaps his queen. The only island that was not tagged with a creature was Picaroon Palms, but the orb did mention the Cunning One, and the fox constellation from Briggs' Adventures is referred to as Cunning. So what does this all mean? Well, it means that these ancient areas within the game that will eventually be coming are somehow tied to the ancients mentioned in Briggsy's adventures. Which means that Flameheart is now after the secrets of the ancients. And these ancients were essentially all part of the royalty for Sea of Thieves before we came here. And the ones responsible for their refuge to the Sea of the Damned. Also the creators of the Sea of Tribute, an area within the Sea of the Damned that we are yet to see. And also the creators of the mysterious temple that Briggsy and the Dark Brethren were after. So that means, although the Briggsy and co have now gone to Fairyland to hold hands and sing Christmas carols around a Monkey Island prop whilst they get drunk with a functioning alcoholic, Flameheart, in his infinite grace, will not only burn his way through the Sea of Thieves, but he'll literally be the saviour of the storyline for the game. So whilst the Avatar of Adventure sits in a sweaty tavern trying to graft the arm back on literally the least cared about lore figure in Sea of Thieves, Flameheart will come back not only with an amazing new world event that'll literally melt the faces of the player base, but also come with an elaborate story arc involving the Ancients and their plans within the Sea of the Damned, which could eventually lead us to finally seeing the ancient temple within the Sea of the Damned, and possibly the Sea of Tribute, where the Ancients now reside. 
So although, yes, the good guys are butchering everything we love about the story arc, it seems as though true evil will prevail in the many months to come to bring us the story we all crave. Which means if we'd all voted for Pendragon to be saved in the fate of the damned adventure, we'd probably all be riding unicorns with Buzz Lightyear and Woody to unravel the story. So good job everyone, you made the right choice. Sorry for being such a loser. Please subscribe to Captain Falcor. His name. Oh.